What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another Western New York Wednesday here on the channel. And the beer I'm reviewing today comes from the Big Ditch Brewing Company. They are out of Buffalo, New York, and this is their bourbon barrel aged towpath the 2016 vintage. So this is an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels and it comes in at 10.8% alcohol by volume, 72 IBUs. And at the time of review, this beer is approximately two years old. So in the title of today's video, you see the hashtag Stouts Giving. And that's because every single year on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, Big Ditch hosts their annual Stouts Giving. Basically, they release this beer and a bunch of other stouts. They, this year, I think they have 13 different stouts on tap or available to go. And this is one of them along with four different variants that look very interesting. I'm gonna try and make it down to the brewery and pick up those variants and maybe a, another vintage of this beer. But uh, if you are in the Buffalo New, uh, Buffalo, New York area on Wednesday, November 21st, 2018, the day this video is being posted, check out Big Ditch, hit up Stouts Giving, especially if you like Stouts. Uh, Big Ditch makes some of the best beer in Buffalo, New York, in my opinion. And uh, Stouts Giving, I've been once before, 2016, and uh, it was a pretty fun time. So anyway, this beer, I've had the base towpath and I've also had this bar uh, barrel aged vintage and both were delicious. I think I preferred the base towpath a little bit more. It was a bit more complex. This one was a little bit boozy, fresh. So I'm hoping uh, this has maybe developed into something amazing. We'll see. On the back here it says, barges on the old Erie Canal were often pulled by beasts of burden along a towpath, which were roadways alongside the canal. This bourbon barrel aged version of Imperial Stout, which was originally brewed to commemorate our 200th batch, is a beast of a beer itself, clocking in at 10.8% uh, ABV. And it's, then it talks about tasting notes, which we won't get into. So let's crack this open. Hopefully, this is aged quite well, we'll see. Uh, this is uh, cellar temperature right now. So you're talking 62 to 65, somewhere in that range. Oh my Lord, I just cracked it and I can smell it. Hopefully it's as delicious as it just smelled right there. So it's pouring out with not a ton of carbonation. I'll try to give a hard pour here to get some, uh, get some, uh, you know, a head here, but it doesn't look like it's overly carbonated. We'll give it a swirl here just to see if we can get a head going. It's best you're going to do about a half finger of a head. So alcohol legs clinging to the side. This is a, you know what? I'm not going to say this is straight up black. It might look like that on uh, camera here, though. I'm seeing some slight ruby red, darker brown tinges at the bottom, uh, but it's, it's pretty opaque. It's just more of like a really deep brown color as opposed to a black. Now it has a thin film, like a, maybe a eighth of an inch of a head here. Uh, it was mocha colored and the top's actually looking like hot chocolate when you when you have the hot you make hot chocolate and it just kind of dissipates and it's that thin film on top that's what it looks like looks creamy but it doesn't look like there's a lot of carbonation which is you know somewhat disappointing but when you age beers that's how it that's how it goes sometimes anyway let's get a nose on it yeah big big barrel presence but it doesn't smell overly boozy there's just a ton of barrel without smelling you know like it's going to be a, a ton of alcohol on the palate at least that's what the nose is indicating right now Lots of bourbon, lots of vanilla. There's a bit of like barrel char as well. And that base beer, which again, I mentioned that I liked the base beer more when I originally had it. It's because I had a nice complexity of like deeper, darker chocolates, uh, some dark fruit too, like a figgy, almost raisin-esque uh, vibe to it. Almost like chocolate covered raisins, like raisinettes, something in that realm. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, nothing, there's nothing amiss here. There's nothing like screaming. It's, you know, there's, it's infected at all, or, you know, it's aged quite well based on the nose. Uh, it just, the barrel's still very present, but at the same time, the base beer is creeping up a little bit. And when I had this fresh, the one thing that I didn't like as much as the base beer was that the barrel was a bit too in your face and the base beer got lost a little bit. This one seems a little bit more uh, cohesive and, and put together. So anyway, I'm gonna get into it. So cheers, everybody. Let's see what this one has to offer. Right off the get-go, I'll tell you two things. I'll tell you the two negatives I'll have because there's going to be a lot of positives in the beer, but the two negatives are it is thin. Eric Gilbert, settle down. Paul, yes. Chris, yes. Uh, this is thin. It's 10.8%. That barrel, that's another issue I had with this fresh is that Towpath was a big sticky uh, you know, viscous type of imperial stout and the barrel just kind of thinned it out and 
with some age on here, it, it's kind of it's kind of similar. So it definitely has a thin mouthfeel to it for the percentage of alcohol. And when I say thin, I don't mean like super thin or anything. This is like lower side of full body, but it's not big and viscous and thick and just like syrupy. It just it's thin, but it is lower side of full full body mouthfeel. There is very little carbonation. Definitely some oxidation to this one, and and again the the carbonation on top of that, it's giving me. Uh, a smooth, creamy sensation to the mouthfeel, but I would like some more carbonation this one because it is slightly flat. That said, the flavors here are awesome. Tons of now sweeter milk chocolate, not like the 60, 70% cacao bar that I got originally, more of a sweeter milk chocolate. Tons of vanilla, there's barrel char. It's not overly burnt or anything. It just has a slight char uh, component to it that's very nice. It's not smoky per se. It just has a decent char to it. The, the chocolate-covered raisins, the raisinettes I would mention, definitely in the um, taste as well. It finishes semi-dry. It's not an over, overly sweet beer, but not an overly dry uh, beer as well. Has a nice balance to it. Very well balanced from the finish of this one. And it makes it a lot easier to drink, too, when it has a semi-dry finish because it's not going in, you know, a, too, much of, a, too much dryness can turn me off personally. I know a lot of people enjoy it. Too much sweetness, obviously, can become cloying and you just don't want that. Uh, this has a great balance to it. Yeah, this is this is tasting really, really good. It has aged gracefully. I wouldn't say beautifully. I will say that as far as a rating goes for the Bourbon Barrel Aged Topath of 2016 Vintage, I'm going to give this a straight 4.25 out of 5. This would get a much higher grade, talking 4.5, 4.75. And I'd probably be going you know, nuts about this beer if A, it wasn't thin, and B, if it had more carbonation to it. Both. It's funny because I talk about body and mouthfeel a lot. Uh, Ashley Saxon mentioned in one of my prior videos, I think it was the Harpoon Duncan coffee porter, that he thinks it's one third of the beer, the body of the mouthfeel, and I, I agree with him. And that's where the third of this beer kind of drops off for me. It has lower carbonation and the body's thin. Uh, in addition to that, I would just want, I just, again, I thought the base beer was more complex than this one. There is complexities of this one, no doubt. Uh, as I mentioned, there's, you know, half dozen things going on and they do blend together nice, uh, very, very nice, nicely. And I would say they are cohesive, but it's not overly complex. It's open 11% and it doesn't drink like that. But 4.25 out of 5 is not a bad score in the least. And uh, if you have a bottle of this, I would definitely drink it now. I don't think it's going to age all that well in the next coming years. I can only imagine it getting thinner and kind of maybe that oxidation kicks in and obviously the carbonation is going to be probably lost in a year or two. So if you have a bottle of this, drink it now. For those of you checking out uh, Stouts Giving today in, in Buffalo, New York at Big Ditch, pick up a 2018 vintage and probably drink it fresh. Maybe get a couple bottles and age one and see how it ages. So anyway, that was Towpath, the bourbon barrel aged uh, version and the 2016 vintage from Big Dish Brewing Company. I'm giving it a solid 4.25 out of 5. Appreciate you guys stopping by for another Western New York Wednesday. And until the next one, cheers.